You should have seen the look on your face when that girl's husband walked up to you and said, I'll take a dance with my wife now, if you don't mind. <laughs> she certainly was very beautiful, Clyde. She seemed to take uh, great pleasure in your company. <laughs> the pleasure was short-lived, Marie. You were just lucky he didn't pleasure you right in the eye. She wasn't wearing a wedding ring. And she certainly didn't seem to mind. I don't know, Clyde. Do you think it looks good for a Monty to be out stealing other men's wives? Must admit, Marie, I was happy having you all to myself while Clive was off making a fool of himself. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. I don't think that town will have us back, do you? After Clive's behavior? I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> He's still breathing. What? You told me you were the best long barrel in the territory. That's what I paid for. If he ain't dead, he's close to it. Cover. Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Yeah, take cover. Ah, ah. They found us. I need here, not even bandages. Clive, we have to get him out of here. What are we supposed to do, Marie? There's three men out there. Jack! Jack Craddock! It's been a long time, but I'm here for you now. Remember me? 
Art Halton. I'm not interested in you, Redcoat. Or you, lady. Just the Ranger. Art Halton. I put him behind bars when I was with the Rangers. I always said he'd get me. Oh, I'm the only one he's interested in. Let him have me. Forget it, Craddock. This may be your jurisdiction, but I'm making the decisions. <laughs> I'll let you walk out of here. My word. I just want the Ranger. Can't stay in there forever. You know what? Keeping him in there ain't a bad idea. What? Those two both work in Border Town, don't they? Well, I'd say that makes it easy pickings, don't it? I don't need no complications. I just want credit. Well, you'll get him. And a little pocket change besides. I've got some news about your lawmen. You want to see them alive again? You listen up. Cobble's horse just came in. Where are they? All you need to know is where to bring the money. Money? Yeah, money. Collect up all your cash and valuables. About eight miles down the North Road, there's a trail. Leave it there. Any questions? When? Two hours after sunup. You think he's serious? What do you think, my word? Well, looks to me like we're going to be rich men. without any help, is he? No. You know what to do with this. Use it. Cock it back halfway to reload. There's plenty of ammunition here. Clive, what are you doing? He needs help. You said it yourself. No! You can't leave me here. You can't. Well, what do you want me to do? Stay here and watch him die? They won't even know that I'm gone. They'll think I'm still in here with you. You don't know that. They could see you. He's they could... my friend. I have to do everything I can to save him. Now I need you to be brave, all right? Can you do that for me? Just be careful. I don't want to lose you. You won't. I'll be back. You rest easy. I, uh, I just want you to know, in case I ain't here when you get back, enjoyed our turn together. You'll be here. You got the best doctor in Canada looking after you. back before morning. You'd better be Clive Bennett. Be back in that big sty call home before you know it.
Look, I uh, know you weren't looking to kill the Mountie, but it's done. Come on, Halton, cheer up. Look, I left Craddock for you. If he's still alive, he's, he's alive. If he weren't, they would have thrown his body out by now. Craddock! Tell me! What's a man think about when he's dying? I'd ask your friend out here, but uh, he's past being able to answer. Why don't we take him now? No. I want him to suffer. He sure this is all in the money from the bank? I know I have a reputation as a skin flint, but I would not endanger their lives. It's all there. So, who's taking it out to them? Somebody's got to do it. Well, if you're so all five brave, why don't you do it? I just might. Oh. Stop acting like children. This is serious. I still say we should send a rider out to Port McLeod for troops. He said sun up tomorrow, not next week. Got the money together. Good. Are you planning on going out there alone, Mr. Stanton? Well, to tell the truth, Lamb, I'd rather not. Who's volunteering? Any of you coming? You don't think once they've got the money, they're going to let them go, do you? I thought these people were your friends. How can you turn your back on them? Don't Jack and Clive and Marie mean anything to you? Sally, I don't have the skills to go up against armed men. None of us do. We're law-abiding folks. <laughs> Slide that money out of me, Zach. Mr. Stanley. I said do it to me. I'm just showing you decent folks what life is going to be like without lawmen. And be rest assured, there's plenty of men out there that make me look like I walk in the woods. You finished with your dramatics, Archie? I'm a banker. Liam cuts hair. What good are we? I know, Wendell. But you're the only chance they've got. with more blood in you. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Don't tire yourself. No, no I gotta say.
I say we take them now. No need. She'll come out soon enough. Hunger, thirst. Maybe even the smell. Why don't you go pick up your uh, bonus money? Two shots means we got it. Marie. What is it? If we get out of this, will you marry me? As soon as they put holes on the church. Really? Yes. You know, a little more resting. I think I can handle them hombres. That's good. got what it takes to kill a man. I got no call to hurt you. I just want him. I'll get Liam to, to put you in the, the wagon and take you back to Watertown. No, hey, Clive. Uh, I said no, Archie. Uh, help me up. Oh, all right, boyo. You're the professional here. You got any ideas? You got any weapons? Throw them down now. You bring everything? Yes. Where are they? Money first. It's in the back. Let's see what you brung us. What's this? Uh, the doctor's rug, all the way from Persia. A valuable item. should have been riding point back there. We were sloppy. We were lucky. You consider this lucky? <sighs> you know, uh, Clive, I asked her to marry me. What? When I thought I was dying back there, I asked Marie to marry me. What did she say? She said yes. Well, you know, people say a lot of things they don't normally say in the heat of the moment. She probably said yes just to keep you alive. Oh, yeah? What makes you say that? And the way she kissed me? <laughs> yeah, well, maybe she did that in the heat of the moment, too, huh? Hey, if it makes you feel better to believe that, you believe that. Look, I ain't finished this conversation, Corporal. <sighs> you gonna hold her to her promise? 
No. But I got a proposal for you. Not me, too. No, I'm serious. The way I figure it, neither of us is gonna get anywhere with her if we keep stealing each other's thunder. So what do you suggest? Well, I think one of us should court her for a spell, and if that don't work out, then it's the other man's turn. What do you say? All right. Who goes first? Well, considering it was my idea... No way, Craddock. What's the matter, Bennett? You afraid? Of you? <laughs> One thing I'm afraid of is if you court her first, you're gonna scare her off men for the rest of her life. How soon before you get well enough to get out of my sight? Not soon enough. I've been thinking. This town needs is a curfew. You think so? Less people on the street, there'll be less trouble. And less business in the saloon. Fewer haircuts. Not much good for the livery business. Is that all you three think about is money? I'm speaking strictly from the point of view of the lawman. You know, being a lawman doesn't seem that challenging. You think those two were fooling us all along? Yeah, I thought of that. You think we should keep them all? We'll give them one more year. Then don't ask for a raise. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.